Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a review of the Tenergy TB6B uh, multi-purpose charger. And now this charger comes with, um, let's see, we got this octopus cable right here. And it also comes with um, this balancing port so you can charge two through 6S LiPo batteries. And that plugs into the side, that side white socket right there. And these are the standard uh, male banana plugs. And then it comes with, um, let's see, I think this, uh, I'm not really sure it's, someone told me it wasn't a Traxxas, it was um, some like servo wire. Got a micro or mini Tamiya, you got JST, um, X, uh, XC3, I forgot already, CX3, I'm not sure. You got a Dean's connector there, it's a nice little cap on it. Um, you got a full size Tamiya, and then it also comes with an empty set of wires that I just put my own um, little micro uh, low C micro JST connector on here so I can charge my small 1S like hubs and batteries. Um, so that's nice that it comes with all those different um, connectors. And you're also going to need, if you get the version I got, a power supply. Um, I already have it plugged in. Um, I'll leave a link to both these below. And altogether, it's $53 which is a really nice price for such a nice charger. I've, I've only had this for like two weeks and I'm absolutely loving it. it charges my battery so much better. Um, so let's turn it on here, just plug this into the side. You can see it says Tenergy TB6B. And then you can see it, um, let me go back. It starts out with your program select mode and it's a four button charger. So when you're in this menu, let's plug these in, just so when I get there, it doesn't really matter, but oops. Might as well have them. So you have a LiPo battery, and then you hit the mode button again. Nickel metal hydride, um, nickel cadmium, um, that's a lead battery. And then you have save data and load data. So you can um, save your charging preferences. Like if you're charging the same battery a lot, you can just save that. And next time you just hit load and you can have all the settings. So you can just hit start right away. But I find it only takes like 10 seconds because I'm experienced with this now and I know how to use it. It's really, really simple. Excuse me. Um, it's a really nice charger. So let's just go to and you um, keep clicking to go through again. Let's just go to lipo battery and then you press this um, button over here, and then you have lipo charge. And now you're going to use the two middle buttons if you want to change through this. You have lipo balance, fast charge, storage, discharge. Yeah. Okay. So you have um, a couple settings there. And then if say I want to charge a lipo, I click enter, and then it'll give me it'll change the amps so then you can go all the way down to 0.1 amps or you can go all the way up to 5 amps if you have some bigger batteries you want to charge so that's really nice it gives you tons and tons of settings so I'll be demonstrating with my hubs and batteries so I'll put it at uh, that's 240 milliamp hour battery so I'll put it at 3.3 amp, amps and you click again and then you have 3.7 volts and then if you click up and down in the middle here you can see it changes 7.4 you can see it has 2S and you can go all the way up to 6S. So this is a 1S battery, whoops. So then you click, and this time, first you wanna plug your battery into this lead here. Let's do that, whoops. Okay, there we got it plugged in. And now if you keep clicking, you can go back to your um, settings here. But since we have it already, we wanna press and hold the button. And then it'll, it'll check the battery voltage in the cells. And you can see this, um, this is only on the light bulbs on nickel metal hydrides, it just goes straight into charging. It says that it you have put in that there's one cell and it has found one cell. So if the numbers are the same, that's good. So then you just press enter once again and it starts charging. You can see it is a LiPo one cell charging at 0.3 amps. And that's telling you the voltage of the pack right now is at 3.85 amp or volts because I had storage charge this and it's on charge mode. And it has a nice count up timer so you can charge it. And I'm not really sure what these numbers are. Um, I can't figure out what they are, but um, I'm not really sure. They don't really matter as far as I can tell. Um, and I forgot to mention it has like a USB temperature external port over here. If you want to put that in, it, has a, it says temp sensor USB. And then when you're done charging LiPos, it will... Um, it'll bring the voltage down gradually as it gets to the 4.2 volts per cell and then it'll um, it'll beep for about five seconds really loudly and then it'll cut the voltage off so it stop charging so that's really nice and then it'll you just if you want to stop it early just press escape and then it'll stop and you can unplug your battery so now let's demonstrate with um, 
this nickel metal hydride from my Dromeda MT 4.18. So click back to go to the um, mode selection again, then press it, nickel metal hydride, enter. Um, we're going to want to charge it. And now this one, there's a lot less settings because these are more basic. And it's it remembers my last setting since this is a 1300, 1 1.3 amps. So let's plug it in. And it's really nice that it comes with all these connectors, so it pretty much fits whatever you have. And you can just put on whatever ones you want. And then press and hold. As you can see, it checks the battery, and then it just goes straight into charging. Nickel metal hydride, charge, 1.3 amps, and it's at 8.03 volts right now. And there's a timer. So it's really simple, really nice charger. Um, however, on the nickel metal, um, I'm not sure if it alerts you when it's done, because it doesn't ask for the cell voltage. And I got to 9.2 volts the one time, and it still kept going, so I think you may have to manually cut off the nickel metal hydrides. Um, but LiPo's, it will stop immediately by itself, so it's a huge upgrade over these little crappy USB chargers, and you can do all kinds of things. And on the nickel metals, you can put a cycle. Let's go back. Nickel metal. So you discharge on here. You have a cycle. And if you click that, you can change it from discharge and then charge it or charge it and then discharge it and then you can um, tell it how many times you want to do the max is five and then press and hold whoops you don't have it plugged in so it, it'll say connection break and that's how loud it beeps when it's done so back let's see and then tell me charge one I want to go let's see charge one how do I do this I'm not sure let's see yeah I don't want to do that but um, if you want to do that, it's a pretty simple charger, it's easy to figure out, you just have to go through the menus, really simple 4 button charger, so um, a huge, huge improvement over the USB chargers like I said, um, so yeah, that's a nice charger, it's only 53 bucks total, so if you want to pick it up, I'll leave links below and you can check it out, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!